Hey YouTubers, a thrift store can be a great place to go. I go looking for things for my RV. I'm pretty lucky that I have a really great thrift store near me. So in this video, I'm going to share what I think are my top 10 finds for the RV. Now remember, not all thrift stores are created equal, so be careful. I found many things that turned out to be really useful. I'm not going to show most of those. So here we go with what I think are my top 10 thrift store finds for my RV. I hope you enjoy. All right, this is honorable mention thrift store stuff. I think I paid 29 cents for the full shoe rack thing. And I have this here and two other places. And for me, they're awesome to store stuff and be able to get to a modal easy. If you don't like clutter, a lot of people might not like this because it's clutter, but I like it for the convenience. Even though now it's time before the next trip to empty it out and uh, put new stuff in. So next I'm going to show you another deal I've gotten. All right, traveling with pets. They have issues, they have problems, they have accidents, they throw up. I've gotten these at the thrift store. I probably have like four of them. And usually I get them for about a buck and a half. And they are... Uh, I believe they're crib liners, but they're waterproof. And as I've shown, I put uh, shower curtains over the bed. I have waterproof covers on the bed, just because there's nothing worse than that pet you're dragging along with you getting sick. But what I use these for, again, being the size of a crib liner, I put it over that, and I tuck it on the seat. I put one on each seat, this seat and the driver's seat. That way I'm protecting my seats from any cat problems. Um, one of them is always laying on the driver's seat. A lot of times I have things piled here, they don't lay there. But uh, these things, if you're traveling with pets, something like this is awesome. Because, you know, sometimes they get car sick or they get whatever. Animals get sick, just like people. So these things protect your uh, investment in your RV. Highly recommend something like this. And I really recommend them getting them from the thrift store because they're cheap. This is a small dehumidifier, just like the other small dehumidifier that I bought. I bought this one new, and as you can see, even though it's been very hot in Ohio, it's pulling water out of here. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this one. I want to say it was like $3, but I really don't remember. I'm sure it's in a video somewhere, but I can't remember what I paid for it. But... If you have access to power, these don't draw a lot. I think I put in a video how much they actually draw. But uh, water and moisture in an RV is a terrible thing. So uh, I highly suggest one of these. I'm looking at the back of the one I got. It says power in point, 9 volts, 2.5 amps. If that helps you get some idea. But um, they're better than, to me, they're better than damp rid. Because you can knock damp rid over and then that stuff that is made is kind of nasty this is just turn it off take it out empty it which i needed to do anyways these are a great thing to do and at three bucks at a thrift store i think it's a pretty darn good deal something i've bought a couple of at the thrift store are fans fans always come in handy in an rv especially a small rv where getting air moving is so crucial i think this one was a three bucks four bucks something like that i don't know i've I looked through some of my older videos to see exact prices on stuff, and I, I may have missed a couple, but much cheaper. Pennies on the dollar, what you compare to get a new one. I believe I bought a small space heater there, too. Um, the beauty of this thrift store is they have outlets, so you plug something in and you let it run for a while to make sure that it's good. And uh, when I'm on power, I always tend to lean towards using electric heaters because why burn my propane when I'm paying for electricity? Or if I'm lucky enough to be getting electricity for free. One of my better deal, this is an induction cooktop. I have one by New Wave that I've had for years. Uh, I got this one at a thrift store in Ontonagon, Michigan for $10. I still have my other one that I use in the house, but this is a little bit smaller and I kind of like it. It fits in a compartment better than the larger one that I have. And again, it goes back to if, for me, traveling with pets often means I'm on electric because I'm traveling in the summer when it's really hot, the places I like get warm, so I tend to be on electricity more than I boondock. And if I'm on electricity, if I'm going to cook something, 
I'm not going to use my propane stove. I can take these outside, plug them in outside and not be in the heat. And I think something like this, or if you want to go the cheap route and just get one of those electric cooktop kind of things that you plug in, I think when you're RVing and you're on power, just use the power you're paying for. Don't burn your propane. So this was a really good deal. This was another great find, a charcoal grill. It was actually half off day, so I got it for $2.50. Never used, these are 50 bucks new, and this was a gift. All right, this was another great deal that I got, uh, along with the brand new one that I just showed you. This is a propane grill, and I have cooked on it. And boom, it works very well for what it is. I mean, it's not as good as my uh, fancy uh, grill to go, but this is one of those standard ones and it was 75 cents. It is meant to be a gift for someone. They just haven't gotten it yet. Thrift stores have great deals. All right, YouTubers. Again, this is in no particular order. Um, I will start out by saying I have a backpack issue and bags and that kind of stuff. For me, I do it, I think, as a way to try to organize. I looked online, these were $80 new. I got it on sale day for $5.25. All the compartments clean, all that good stuff. A normal backpack, plus it's for a laptop. So for $5.25, I think the thrift store hooked me up pretty, pretty well. All right, YouTubers, this is another one of the good deals. This is a washing machine, it's by Panda and i did a video on it a long video and it works it's great if you want a boondock although it does take power so some people would rather wash their clothes in a bucket but if you're going to run your generator out there you plan your stuff and you can run a load of laundry through this is the plans for this is a gift to a fellow rv or so i'm not sure i will use this but it does work and I got this for $9.75, and they can be pretty expensive. Great deals at the thrift store. The next one, this is the new wave oven, the big normal one with extension rings and all that kind of good stuff. I got this for $45, and it was obvious when I bought it that it had never been used. If it was used, it was barely ever used. There's no marks, no anything. All the original stuff was still wrapped up. So that's a pretty good deal. And I've used it a few times in the house. Obviously for my small van RV, it's uh, too big to take along. But these work great, they use less power. And basically a new wave oven is a convection oven. All right, this is a new wave mini that I got from the thrift store, obviously. Um, I have two new wave minis. These are almost impossible to find now and for a van, I think they're perfect. The first thing about it is my van doesn't have an oven oven, so there's no baking you can do. This solves that just like the big one. It's a convection oven. Um, because it's my second one, I marked a two on it to see how it would perform differently. And from the thrift store, it performs just as good as the one I bought brand new. And I paid a whopping $6.38. To those of you that I know are out there looking, trying to hope to find one for yourself, I'm sorry that I have two, but I'm not giving up the other one. <laughs> um, one thing you hear about the new waves is these will crack. And I've bragged forever that the one I originally have had for years doesn't hasn't cracked because I'm gentle with it. Well, it has a small crack in the dome. It still functions right. It hasn't broken, but it's got a little crack in it. So when I got this, I was like, well, at worst, I got pieces parts in case something goes wrong. So if you can find yourself one of these, you've done something special because they, like I said, they are really hard to find. But if you do find one, I think for a small van or even a larger RV, they come in handy so many different ways. So this is one of my favorite deals. This is a 12 volt cooler. Um, I got it for 15 bucks. These are a hundred bucks new. I've had it for a few years. And just this spring, I had to put a new motor in it. it cost me like five bucks for a new motor and it's still working strong. Um, it serves a couple purposes. The cats lay here often and it is their launch point to get up into the dash. And that's what it looks like. It works great. And I often put a lot of frozen stuff, but what I still have to do is I'll use ice packs and then frozen meats and stuff. And I kind of layer ice pack, 
frozen stuff, ice pack, that kind of thing. Because this helps, but it's not a refrigerator. But I've been able to get meat to stay frozen in there for three weeks. And then a little bit of more time at the end for vegetables and stuff. Now a lot of people will say that it draws way too much power and they're not wrong. But how I use it is when I'm driving, I plug it into the, to the dash. And for $15, I also got an inverter or converter, whatever you want to call it. It takes the 12 volt to 110. So I can plug this into that converter and plug it in when I'm hooked up and I'm not drawing off the battery because these do use quite a bit of juice. And if you were just running off a battery, you know, your house battery or whatever, they're not super efficient. But if you have an inverter and electricity available, shore power, it's a great option. I'm very happy with that. The screen. Hold on a second. Now the origins of that uh, screen was, it was eight bucks and it went around a gazebo. All the uh, Velcro that's on the screen was already on the gazebo part of it. My aunt was able to sew it together. But not only is that awesome, and I tell you, if you got pets, that my cats love to sit there when it's open and when the weather's nice. Um, but there's more to it. Again, it was only $8. Let me show you the rest of it. I told myself I wasn't going to do these in any particular order, but I will admit this is number one. This uh, thrift store find was pretty awesome. It's just Velcro. And I'll also admit, there's no way I could have done this if not for my aunt, who's like an actual seamstress kind of stuff. So we found this, and she was able to uh, sew it up for me. If I had to do this myself, it would have been all duct taped. But there is the awning out on the RV. And this other part is something I don't use that often either, but out of that eight bucks, there's a screen that'll go all the way around the awning. It goes on pretty easy, not too bad. And the one that's just for the door, I've seen those sold aftermarket and they've all been at least a hundred bucks. So again, eight bucks. So there you go. Awning screen ones are really expensive. So because I'm showing you just quick, I just put a few clips on, but for eight bucks, I got the door screen and I got this screen and you just use clips, put it on the screen. And then you have that whole bug free area. Use the bottom part, there's eyelets. You can drive some stakes in. And what I do on the doors is there's enough material that I just use some magnets to keep to the doors and the bugs are out. So that's a pretty good deal. Just shows you for eight bucks you can find some really cool things at the thrift store. And the good thing about this is that there's a zipper so you can open this up and get in and out all right let's put this all away something like this just proves when you're going to the thrift store you never know what you're going to find but you can find some really helpful things this doesn't go with the thrift store stuff but um these pool noodles are great for this kind of rv awning trailers have them class b's you know the new ones don't but i'll show you you just cut a slit in them and then it will protect you from banging your head against these because if you've ever done it it really hurts again nothing to do with the thrift store stuff but i'm sure other people do it but i thought of it for me i hadn't seen anybody else do it but if you have this kind of awning i highly suggest this you bang your head once, and you'll be glad you did this. Here's another nothing to do with the thrift store stuff, but uh, my awning, a wind caught it once and ripped it right off the RV, and it broke this bracket. And my neighbor's amazing. 
he uh, made me a new one. He also made me a spare. I'll show you that next. That's a spare bracket that my neighbor made just with his bench vise. Just bent that piece of metal to make it work because these got to be able to move around. Pretty clever because my awning is old enough that when I went for parts for it, they're like, no, they don't make that anymore. All right, I, I can't stay on topic. I threw some non-RV thrift store stuff in here too. Here's another thing I do. I'm always so afraid that the uh, awning is going to get ripped off while driving. It's probably happened, but I don't want it to happen to mine, so I'll show you what I do. I wrap a piece of Velcro around it to keep it tight. Okay, I do it on both ends. Can't make any guarantees, but can't hurt. So there we go. RVing gets expensive. Check out a thrift store. You might have a great and wonderful day.